We will demonstrate self-assembling wire network in this video. What you see are solder balls that self-assembled under an electric field. The setup for this experiment is simple. An adjustable benchtop high voltage power supply generates the electric field. High voltage cable assembly is the coaxial structure where the center is the high voltage conductor and the outer metal sleeve is the ground. High voltage output is soldered to the resistor in series and that limits the current output when arcing happens. A copper wire is soldered to the resistor and is placed at the center. This is where the positive 10 kV is applied. This green wire connects the ring electrode to the ground stud on the back of the high voltage power supply. In this setup, we're using a lithium ion battery to power the high voltage power supply because the portability makes it easy to run experiments. Because it is powered by the battery pack, the ground potential of the equipment is floating. The plastic container is a lid we had lying around in lab. It holds the electrodes, solder balls, and the oil. We're using 0.5 millimeter diameter solder balls, and they're electrically conductive. These conductive balls are placed inside an insulating silicone oil. Oil has excellent electrical insulating properties and will withstand high voltages. Anything immersed in oil can still move, so it is a nice medium for this experiment. On the other hand, the small solder balls are electrically conductive. The mixture of the two combined with high voltages creates interesting effects. Positive 10 kV is applied to the center and the outer copper ring is grounded. So there is an intense electric field in the space. The balls are touching the positive electrode and are charged the same polarity. Like charges repel and opposite attracts. The electric field creates an electric force on all the solder balls creating movements. The solder balls assemble in interesting fractal patterns to form a network that will minimize the resistance. There's a lot of inherent freedom, so the movements and patterns that form are quite dazzling. When high voltage is applied, the solder balls move until a loosely connected conductive wire branch is formed. At that point, the effective resistance is low so the current output from the high voltage power supply goes up to 0.3 milliamp. When this happens, all movements stop and we turn off the high voltage power supply. We then use a stick to break up the branches. Doing so increases the resistance and that gives the network another chance to self-assemble and form a network. In summary, at the start of the experiments, the solder balls are grouped together near the center positive electrode and the resistance is extremely high. Over time, the solder balls move under the electric field and form a network that minimizes the resistance. In the second part of the demonstration, we're gonna use something you can easily collect at the beach. If you take a magnet and place it in a plastic bag and simply drag it back and forth directly above the sand, some of the sand particles will stick to the magnet quite strongly. These black particles are iron oxide powders and collecting them at the beach is actually very easy. Iron oxide is magnetic and a poor conductor of electricity. The magnetites were collected at Rio Del Mar Beach in California, which is approximately 10 miles away from Santa Cruz Beach. Unlike the solder balls, the iron oxide is insulating and the size is physically much smaller. Let's place them under the electric field and see how they move and assemble. The center electro here is stranded copper wire that is flexible. You can see it moving due to the electrostatic force. When the dielectric particles are placed in the electric field, they become polarized. The same dielectric particles then experience a force from the existing electric field. If the force they experience along the field line is able to overcome the opposing forces, then the particles move towards the ground electrodes. This particular force does not require the particles to be electrically charged. This experiment is simple and fun. We hope you enjoy the video. Come visit us at sprucescience.com.